We are joined by Howard Griffin, the president and publisher of the News Journal Media Group, which runs the News Journal. He joins us as our first person this week. Welcome. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. And since we're just coming out of a story about social media and uh, social networking here in Delaware, I'm curious, uh, are you involved in social media at all? Uh, I know it's something that the, the paper is certainly uh, involved on from a reporter's standpoint. Yes, it is a, uh, a area that uh, all uh, information sources are, are moving towards. Um, certainly our interests uh, are to serve our audiences and, and when I say plural we have so many uh, various uh, uh, members of the population here in Delaware who want to receive their content in a variety of different ways whether they want it in the traditional print fashion uh, or on an iPad uh, or on a mobile device uh, everybody chooses to get their content in many, many ways. So it behooves us to make sure that, that uh, we are on all the platforms uh, that uh, people want to receive their information on. So uh, it is a part of our, our product mix. Are you personally able to keep up with all the different platforms? Well, you almost have to because mm -hmm. uh, in our business, uh, when we're uh, developing content, meaningful content that is really critically important to every resident of the state of Delaware and, and even, you know, in, in surrounding areas, uh, people that live over the borderline in, in Pennsylvania and in Maryland, they rely on us for uh, for the, the news that we develop and, you know, we have uh, very talented journalists in the field that, that spend uh, their professional lives uh, working on high quality um, content and the changes that take place in the distribution of that content are going to continue uh, to proliferate. We will, who knows what the next interruptive media will be, um, and social happens to be where we are today, but uh, before the year's over, there could be another mechanism that allows us to disseminate <laughs> our information as well. Well, the News Journal has a lot going on. You got a new look, new website. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, I have. Um, I've been, as you know, uh, uh, at the News Journal uh, since late November, so I view it uh, from a career perspective of where I've been in various areas across the United States and uh, coming into uh, Delaware in my role uh, working for uh, a very fine company in Gannett, uh, the owners of USA Today and, and many publications across the country. Uh, we are a leading company uh, as it relates to the development of, of new creative ideas. Um, when we uh, looked at how we could improve our product, uh, there had been a major investment that had, made, had been made prior to my arrival uh, at the News Journal in researching uh, the content and the look of our product and making sure that we were providing uh, the content in a format that people wanted to read. So we asked many questions uh, of local Delawareans and received a lot of feedback on what they would like to see as far as improvements. Um, and most recently, several weeks ago, you saw the launch of a new format in our products. Uh, some, some very, very uh, subtle changes in many ways, but uh, changes that people really asked for. For example, on page one, we now have a, a rail, what we refer to as a rail, a column down the left-hand side of the paper that uh, really gives you some capsulization of uh, some of the content that's going to be on the inside uh, of the product, uh, some labeling on each of the uh, news stories so that you can get a little bit of a, a brief of what uh, the story is about. Uh, a lot of quick read, but when you get into the story, uh, a tremendous amount of depth. Uh, uh, probably our most popular feature uh, that has changed, and I'm sure uh, uh, the, the residents of, of uh, this state have really noticed, and we've gotten a ton of, of just fabulous feedback, is our panorama photos on the front of our uh, local news section uh, that have been very, very popular, uh, and they are uh, photos that are being submitted by uh, the residents uh, here of our own state. Uh, people want to connect to the newspaper. People want to connect to Delaware Online or to our mobile uh, site. They want to feel like it's, it's them, that they have some ownership uh, in the, the information source that they go to. So we feel very good about the changes that, that we've made, uh, and I'm sure there will be others as we, as we move forward. Is it part of an effort to make it m more visual? Uh 
maybe a little bit less text, uh, especially on those opening pages, uh, to to, to kind of encapsulate what's going on overall in the state? Well, let me answer it this way. There, there are so many demands on people's time today uh, that what we are finding is that when you're looking to um, enlighten yourself on the news of the day, whenever that may have happened or occurred, uh, that take your typical morning before you leave to go to work uh, where the, the paper is available, the newspaper is available, however, uh, you may not have time at that particular moment to read everything that you want to read. So we, we summarize some of that uh, on our page one to show you what's inside, giving you that opportunity. Uh, and what we're learning is that many people will, will pick up the paper, uh, take a look at it. Um, in their busy lives, they may decide to come back to it later in the day when they get home. They'll put the paper in their briefcase, uh, take it to work with them, and during lunch hour, they will take a look at it. Uh, but perhaps the other side of that uh, is that people will then go to our online site as soon as they log in on their office computer because they have noted a story that they really wanted to read and they wanted more depth uh, the content of that story from uh, critical issues or what maybe it was a community event that they attended the night before and they'll go online and, and read uh, the article on their computer or perhaps even on their cell phone. The journalism industry overall has kind of been going through a tough time, in particular papers. Um, how is the News Journal doing? And do you find Delaware is a, a paper state? Oh, absolutely. Um, the News Journal is doing tremendously well. Uh, I am uh, just amazed at the, uh, the power of the, the printed word in this state and how the news journal is respected uh, as a media. Uh, the, the content that's been developed by our nearly uh, 100 journalists that we have uh, out in the field every single day, people that spend uh, their professional careers, uh, the time, investing their time in, in writing quality journalism is something that is being uh, addressed and noticed uh, by the, the residents of this state. Um, we have been able to uh, sustain our, our circulation. Our Sunday product is just very popular. Uh, when you look at all of the products that we have to offer, whether it's our paid daily product or our magazine signature, our Crossroads uh, weekly community newspapers, our Spark publication, if you take all of the products that we have together, uh, over the course of a month, 92% uh, of the people that live in this area uh, look at one of those products. And it's, that's very significant. So it's, it's a strong testament to the quality of the product. But there was a rough patch for a little while. I mean, there were furloughs, things, were, things have been consolidated. Well, I think in the industry as a mm -hmm. whole, um, that is true across the country. Um, you will find that with the changing of technology and how people consume their information, that as a business, you still have to look at your cost structure, uh, certainly the economic conditions of, of late over the course of the last few years have not been favorable from an advertising standpoint as they were, let's say, in the earlier uh, 90s. Uh, and that's been a difficult challenge, not just for our company, but for media companies across the country. Uh, are we out of, uh, out of that scenario? I mean, can we, can we see the light? Uh, we all believe that there is still tremendous opportunity for us to increase and grow our franchise. You come from a background, you've worked at a, a number of different markets uh, around the country, even, even in Hawaii at one time. Yes. Uh, recently in, uh, in, in Philadelphia. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how you see the newspaper situation in Philadelphia with the Inquirer, with the Daily News, and the, and the changes that they've gone through. Uh, what's, what's sort of your perspective on, on what's happening there? Well, I can only speak from my past experience. Uh, I was there six years. I uh, had been uh, asked by the Knight Ritter Company to come join uh, uh, their team, and that was uh, just a fabulous time uh, at the Enquirer. Uh, and then the, the dynamics of the industry began to change, and uh, we were very fortunate uh, 
Uh, and I will say I was very fortunate to be able to work for uh, private local ownership when uh, Brian Tierney and uh, the consortium of, of owners that he pulled together to purchase uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer and Daily News brands uh, uh, came to uh, the rescue, if you will, of of the uh, a company that really needed to connect more locally with the environment. The, the Inquirer and the Daily News are very, very strong brands. They're a fine uh, media company. Uh, but during that period of time uh, when Brian was the uh, CEO of the company, uh, he really connected with the community and he viewed uh, the, the media business uh, from a different viewpoint. As you know, he had owned his own uh, advertising agency which still carries his name uh, even though he doesn't own it any longer but he brought a lot of new creative thinking uh, to a industry that needed to be shaken up uh, and I really benefited from that experience uh, it was unfortunate that the the uh, timing of uh, the acquisition wasn't uh, uh, favorable to that group uh, the financial crisis hit uh, many companies uh, during that period of time had to uh, file Chapter 11, and, and that happened, uh, including many of the major automotive makers uh, of this country. Uh, and it was unfortunate that that did occur, but uh, then the new ownership has taken over. Uh, and I didn't work for the new ownership that long, but I think they have a clear direction of where uh, they are headed. Uh, they've got good leadership and I think it's just a matter of time as to how that uh, all transpires and uh, I, I can't speak beyond that point in time. Um, Do you see Delaware Online going towards the route that New York Times went and some of the other online papers are going with paid virtual subscriptions? I think it's going to be tested. Uh, uh, across uh, many media companies. I know there are many tests that are taking place right now to see if that's the appropriate model. Uh, as you know, uh, the New York Times has, uh, has uh, stuck their toe in the water on that particular uh, aspect of, of content. Uh, and I think they're, they're proving to uh, the industry that people will purchase uh, content uh, if they seek it out and they desire to read the quality content that's being generated. And I think, uh, I think all eyes are on that test, and there will be others, I'm sure. As for what we may do, I think we'll, at this point in time, uh, we're certainly uh, looking at, at many avenues, and uh, um, I'm sure there'll be some decision made on that uh, in the future. And Howard Griffin, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us on FIRST.